these issues. It is the left that has been throwing around mm -hmm. willful and I think deliberately knowing that they're not true allegations against people. Mm. You know, I've often said that with the modern left, since certainly the end of the Cold War, they've basically had a supply and demand problem. They want racists, they want Nazis, they want bigots. And actually, thank goodness, certainly in my society, I think in yours, they're in pretty uh, short supply. And so these people um, have to find them. They want, they want a supply of bigots and racists and fascists. And actually, the supply is extremely small. And the people that there are that they demand are, are too small in number to really uh, uh, um, uh, give them enough of a political identity. So they stretch it out. They've deliberately used as offensive terms as they could and used them of people that they must know do not fit that mm. uh, 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 label. And I think the result is, by the way, among other things, that they have denuded certain terms of any meaning and that this is going to come back and bite the left in a big way. And I can see this happening in Europe all the time at the moment. You know, the accusation of racism, for instance, I don't think it's going to wash for very much longer. I mm. just don't. Mm. Uh, nobody cares as much as they used to about that because they have seen the left use it on everyone. I've seen it for years. I've seen I've seen my black friends called racists. Right. I've seen my black friends called sellouts and coconuts and all sorts of things. I've seen the most vile racial abuse of racial minorities by the left. And I don't care about this anymore. It's too late to be uh, uh, willing to be blackmailed by people who are fundamentally insincere in their insults. Yeah, and it, but what's there is still seems to be a, a mystery here because I, I agree with you, and it's something I've often remarked on that the the tactics being used here are just shockingly dishonest. But the commitment to using such tactics, the fact that people see no ethical problem in accusing someone of being a racist who they know isn't a racist, or a fascist who sure. they know isn't a fascist, there 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 must be some underlying urgency. Uh, motivating that they must think that that the ends justify the means in some uh, sense. Of and, course, it's politics. But what's amazing is that they are, and certainly on the topic of Islamism, functioning as de facto apologists for theocracy. Sure. Uh, so this is it's the fact that they don't see this, the fact that this, or that don't care about this, the fact that identity politics and their concern for, you know, generic brown-skinned people or generic mm. immigrants trumps any concern they, they should otherwise have about real fascism and real theocracy and real human rights abuses, that still strikes me as somewhat mysterious. I, I feel like I'm in the presence of people mm -hmm. who have made some kind of reverse Faustian bargain, where it's, it's like they've sold their souls to the devil and they got stupid in return. <laughs> 